Hello and welcome to my channel, hope for a pleasant day. This is Amber Boxing the Spinter Cell Conviction Limited Collector's Edition, which I think is a fairly misunderstood game. I do remember when this first came out, I remember it got critically panned, you know, quite badly. I mean, I can sort of understand, I mean, it did change a lot of the gameplay elements, you know, from the previous games, because uh, usually, like, you know, say something like interrogations, you'd sort of sneak up to them, put a knife to their throat and interrogate them. Unless you sort of just smash their face into the toilet, you know, it's um, it's pretty brutal. I mean, it also introduced takedowns, you know, if you remember those, um, usually in previous games you would, um, you know, hit them with the butt of your gun or whatever, and this, you kick them in the balls, headbutt them, do whatever you want to kill them, you know. <laughs> it's up to Sam, really, because um, uh, you don't really get much of an option. I do think it's got probably the, one of the best stories, I think, in the franchise. I mean, there's quite a lot of games to choose from at the moment. I think we've got, you know, I think the last game we had was Blacklist and uh, sort of random cameos in other Ubisoft games. But um, I do like it. So anyway, I uh, don't want to waste any more time. I think we'll get straight on with the unboxing. Well, you already know what I'm going to say. I will take you around the box and then I will take all the stuff out and we have a look at those. So I'll take you around the front. So you've got a little bit of a window to show off Sam, the little figurine that comes with this. Um... A little bit of spot gloss on the title there, you know, Splinter Cell Conviction, you know, sort of makes sense, you know, it's got to stand out. You've got the Ubisoft symbol there, there's the side, there's a little bit of spot gloss on the Limited Collector's Edition, and again on the title here. For use only with power TV ca <laughs> cables um, of displaying a 60 hertz signal. So, um, yeah, you don't really need to worry about that now, especially with 4K TVs. Uh, it tells you a little bit of information about the game. Um, it did introduce stuff like, um, you know, co-op, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and then playing that with a few friends back in the day. God, I can't believe I'm saying that. And um, that sort of shows you all the stuff that comes inside. So you've got a still book, soundtrack, stat and a uh, little statue, and a um, DLC, which uh, is probably expired by now because it's over 10 years old. Um, here's the other side. So it's Spinter Cell Conviction. Spinter Cell Conviction? All right. Limited Collector's Edition. Uh, a little bit of spot gloss on there. There's one of the uh, characters you play in the co-op. Uh, spot gloss, spot gloss again there, and it gives you sort of a beta for the uh, Ghost Recon Confucius shoulder, uh, shoulder, <laughs> soldier, which I um, uh, got from Kex, I think for like a pound, like uh, a couple of years ago. So um, no, that's pretty uh, outdated. And uh, yeah, that's the bottom and that's the top. And again, you've got a bit of spot gloss on there. So I'll take all the stuff out and we'll have a look at that. So let's open the lid and we'll have a look at all the stuff inside. So here's the still book, if we can get it out. I did take the liberty of uh, removing all the um, twisty things on the uh, statue, so it's a lot easier to get to. As you can see there, just wanted to show that off. And we'll have a look at the still book. So let's take all the stuff um, inside. So that's your DLC, um, you can use that if you want, I think it's expired, I can't remember if I got this game new or if it was second hand, I can't quite remember, but uh, you can use that if you want, I mean, it's probably not going to work, but um, it does come with a man manual, remember those, because um, I do, you know, you don't get a lot of those now, you usually just sort of built into the Amore case, which is uh, you know, a little bit cheeky, but um, no, what are you going to do, so it tells you a little bit of thing about, well, everything, uh, technical support well that's not really going to work now i mean it's a uh, you know it's an old game um uh, again you've got dlc for grocery recon future Sh soldier i don't know i keep saying shoulder i don't know maybe the nostalgia has got to me uh but feel free to use the uh well there is no code mm. anyway um here's the game itself you know the most important part of the set we put that to one side, and here's the soundtrack, and gone sort of for a uh, vinyl effect on there. So um, compact disc, oh god, remember those. And that's the entire artwork. So you have got the uh, the White House. Um, if I remember, there was actually a mission where you sort of beat the beat up some bloke, uh, um, sort of smash his head into some computers. But uh, you know that was a lot of fun. Um, here's the front and the back, and it's a little bit scratched. Um, you know, not really my fault. I think remembering now this was actually second hand because I take good care of my uh, steel books. So that's the front and the back. So you've got Sam sort of in a sort of silhouette outline. And um, there's a the title there. So it's sort of a, um, not a gloss I would say, probably more of a sheen. Um, there's a little bit of uh, a glare on Sam there, you know, which looks really, really nice. Remember when steel books are quite this, quite this chunky? Because, um, no, it's quite a long time ago. 
so the last thing to look at is the Sam Fisher statue, which I again I've already taken all the um, little twisty bits off, so it's a lot easier. So we're extracting from the box, and we'll have a look at the statue. So uh, it does come with a stand, but it's um, sort of a fairly cheap plastic compared to the actual statue, which is actually um, quite well made. Now I've got to give it to Ubisoft. I mean, they do do a good job on their statues. <coughs> so we'll sort of slot that into there. No. Eventually, and there you go. So there's Sam um, pointing the gun at you. Doesn't know much about um, gun safety, but um, there you go. And what's that? It's a five seven. Is it seven five? I can't remember the type of gun it is, but uh, you've got a little bit of a grizzle uh, effect there on the beard. Fairly well detailed. I would say you've got um, Sam's bag on the back there, which he carries always sort of you know goodies. Um, the, the detail on the clothing looks quite nice. Yeah, so uh, yeah, looks amazing. Very well detailed, and um, that's it. Um, that's everything you get in the set. So um, I think this is, you know, it is out of stock, not out of stock, out of print. But you can get this from Kex for about twenty crown, twenty pounds maybe, something like that. You know, it's a fairly good price for what you're getting. You know, it's compared to this, what it was used to be seventy pound on retail. Um, which is not a bad price actually thinking about it because um, what was it about £40 for the game and you know, for an extra you know, what 20 quid yep 20 quid um, you could get all this stuff so uh, yeah, it's fairly good for the price and um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, that's all to talk about anyway don't want to keep this video going any longer I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again goodbye